We all have hobbies. But how many of us turn our hobbies into a lucrative business? Who will invest in a hobby? This is Sita Manike from Ampara, Sri Lanka. A mother of three children who turned her passion for plants into a home-based income generation activity. She wanted to improve her family income to educate her three children. But it was not easy. She started small and took part in plant exhibitions. There was indeed a demand for her plants. But she did not have enough income to invest in a large-scale plant nursery. In 2015, she was identified among 10,000 women by Sanasa Development Bank and provided with an SME loan. IFC, a member of the World Bank Group, has partnered with Sanasa Development Bank to help the bank expand their reach. In particular, this partnership has helped facilitate over $31 million worth of financial services to small and medium-scale entrepreneurs in Mana, Patiklo, Waunia and Ampara districts. 60% of the loan recipients are women. The European Union funded SDDP program uh, prompted us to work in four post-conflict districts uh, to see how we could develop that aspect and bring more finance into the rural SMEs. We chose a bank that would be close to the rural economies and also would understand them better to accomplish this task. Sri Lanka's small and medium enterprise sector constitutes between 80 and 90 percent of businesses and generates 75 percent of the country's employment. However, the World Bank's 2011 Investment Climate Assessment estimates that only around 35% of Sri Lankan small firms can access a loan or a line of credit. And around 14% of those who applied were denied financing. There are great advantages in offering small loans to enterprising people like Sita. A loan like this can help expand small businesses like hers enhance household incomes and contribute greatly to social development. Experts say that small loans are manageable and relatively easy to pay back. But most of all, such timely assistance makes people independent and economically strong. <laughs> She travels to Bandaravela to bring plants and sells at affordable prices while making a profit. Twice a year, she takes part in exhibitions where she sells her plants. People come from far to buy plants. Sita is now well known in the area. Her children now all grown up and husband ready to retire from government service. Sita Manike is hoping to apply for another SME loan. <laughs> With her business of blooms booming, Sita Manike smiles because she has been able to achieve the best for herself and her family. The European Union provides funding of 60 million euros to support the government's district development program, EU SDTP, assisting seven former conflict-affected districts. IFC is an implementing partner.